Ryu Hayabusa has always been a clean-cut kind of guy. Typically clad in a sleek black suit and wielding the silver dragon sword, he looks like a hero. Yaiba Kamikaze, the star of the upcoming Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z, couldn't be more different. Dressed in a tattered blue outfit, the foul-mouthed cyborg seems to care little for anyone but himself. Fuck. <laughs> He perfectly fits the tone of Ninja Gaiden Z. Featuring a cel-shaded look that's a first for the series, Ninja Gaiden Z feels like an early 90s comic book, with loud neon colors making it more distinct than the series has been in a while. The style isn't the only thing that's changed. During our demo, combat was less demanding than prior games, but it did lack nuance. The three basic moves are a light sword attack, a heavy punch that can stagger, and a flail attack that keeps mobs of weaker zombies at a distance. For defense, you can execute a standard dash with the press of a button, but a parrying technique was particularly difficult to pull off. To do it successfully, you have to immediately parry after a white halo appears above the attacking zombie's head. The halo is so small, however, that it can be hard to see when a lot of enemies and effects are cluttering the screen. While some fights only require the light attack to get through, many of the situations necessitate a bit more thought. Clown zombies, for instance, can quickly get the upper hand if you're not careful. No joke. The red-nosed and white-faced undead have a nasty spin attack that chews through health. You'll need to dash, parry, and bust out the heavy punch to efficiently take them down. The floating, electrified bride zombies are even deadlier and play into Ninja Gaiden Z's emphasis on elemental attacks. Since Yaiba's metal arm and sword don't play nice with electricity, the weapons are worthless when the zombie bride's shield is up, meaning the flail attack is the best option. Though we didn't get to see a lot of the elemental system during our demo, apparently the elements will play a large part in combat. Honing your ninja skills is even more important in the newly announced Ninja Gaiden Z mode, separate from the story, which ups the challenge and pays homage to 8-bit games of the past. The camera changes to mimic a 2D feel, and those that appreciate the NES Ninja Gaiden games will notice plenty of small touches. Ninja Gaiden Z mode takes away some of the crutches present in the main game. Health can't be recovered after executions, and once you're out of lives, it's game over. For sticking it through, you're rewarded with unique costumes only obtainable by playing the mode. There's a lot we don't know about Ninja Gaiden Z, like if it has a story worth telling, and whether or not the combat stays entertaining throughout. It's undoubtedly different, though, making it hard to draw parallels with previous Ninja Gaiden games. Sometimes drastic shifts are just what a long-standing series needs, which we hope is the case when the game releases on March 4th. Hmm.